Hello, my name is Marlon, and I'd like to welcome you to Hypnopedia One, the first entry into the Marlon Sloan hypnotic experience. It is formed around the ideal of introducing learning about the unconscious mind, your unconscious mind and hypnosis, safely along with me and uncounted others in related fields. My purpose here is to talk as simply, candidly, and directly as I can about the experience and knowledge I have gained through 40 plus years of my life, exploring, working, and playing with hypnosis and other forms of self-awareness, improvement, deepening. I hope you enjoy the journey and even feel free to share some of your experiences with me as hypnosis is at the least a two-way street, if not a freeway of learning. Hypnosis and the unconscious mind are passionate interests of mine. I believe I have been blessed with finding and learning from some of the best hypnotists, hypnotic practitioners, practitioners and trancers that both inspire me and fill me with awe. I give them credit for keeping me in touch with the best aspects of my own unconscious mind. But because I have no professional education or certification in this area, I feel I must disclaim any therapeutic or medical benefits that may or may not stem from listening to and participating in this series of talks. I give full credit and responsibility for your healing to you and your unconscious mind. If you are hesitant, avoiding, or just don't feel right about inner exploration through this series, I urge you to stop and further educate yourself through other means until you are satisfied. The responsibility of your own hypnotic experience with me, my words giving options and the possibility of seeing yourself and others in different ways that hopefully are liberating, educational, entertaining and astonishing is truly up to you. I see myself as a temporary guide to territory. I may initially seem to have a better rough outline or map to than you might be currently aware of. In actuality and eventually you have infinitely more knowledge and experience with this territory than I or anyone else. Your inner landscape and life. By listening and using this series you understand and agree not to sue myself or anyone else involved in this series in regards to experiences that may or may not be facilitated by this series. If you cannot abide by this disclaimer again, please stop listening and educate yourself further by other means until you can. You may wish to consult with your doctor, therapist, or unconscious mind to further your clarity regarding your readiness and participation. Your unconscious mind protects your conscious mind. Always. The form of these informal talks will follow generally the following format. First, a welcome to folk already engaged with and to those new to the series. And on to the disclaimer to help protect everyone involved and to encourage self-responsibility and experiencing aspects of our unconscious minds. Next will be an introduction that briefly outlines each entry's contents, purposes, and goals. The majority of time will be spent on the subject matter of hypnosis and the unconscious mind and eliciting a hypnotic response in those willing to explore and learn to direct their attention inward to check and see if what I am talking about makes sense. I will be giving examples of hypnotic language, expanding, theorizing and direction on the how and whys of hypnotic processes and provide the encouragement, opportunity and a multitude of ways into the experience of hypnotic trance. What will follow then will be the ratification and awakening section where evidence of hypnotic trance will be explored and an official request and method of leaving trance for normal waking consciousness will be given. I will next go over again what has just been done in each entry, focusing on expanding, clarifying, incorporating and interpreting learnings just gained into the daily waking experience as well. Finally, 
I will express my gratitude to applicable contributors, you, the listener, and our amazing unconscious minds in making this internal journey together possible. It is also here that I will make any final requests or questions I have of you for my own learnings, as well as your consideration before I say goodbye and close the entry. So until the conclusion of this entry, I am going to give you an opportunity and my encouragement to experiment and experience a trance or trance-like state for yourself, for your unconscious mind to be acknowledged and invited to acknowledge its own existence to you. I have been and will be talking to both your conscious and unconscious minds from the beginning and from now on if you go back and re-listen. For some time now, I have been practicing what I have heard called global suggestion, where the unconscious mind is asked to consider itself included in my conversation with you. In fact, my own unconscious mind is invited to take part of this quadrilogue, four-way conversation manifesting as speech patterns and word choices conducive to lead the mind in a new direction of directing your attention inward, easily and pleasantly. Now, if you can find the most comfortable position and way to listen to my words, perhaps fix your eyes on something above the horizon line of your vision, looking up if you haven't closed them comfortably already. This fatigues the eyes slightly, and the fluttering you may feel naturally following is a good indicator that unconscious alterations in your breathing, body, and mind have already started taking place. If you find you do not wish to close your eyes, there is no need to be concerned as I will give you some pleasant and interesting pictures on the screen to give you something to focus on, be entertained by while listening to my voice and my words. So let yourself relax as fully as you can. Let your mind wander, wonder, and focus on what it will. You may experience coming right back to attending my voice and not know exactly when you left. I also have music that I have written and played, playing in the background of these entries. I hope you enjoy it and also know I will add some pleasant sounds from nature in these talks as well as silence. Breathe deep and let yourself relax deeper with each breath. Continue as I speak, please. In my experience, about one-third of people can experience profound trance states very readily, easily, and quickly. They and you may have extensive past trance experiences to draw on. Another one-third can reach some definitive levels of trance without too much trouble and can definitely learn and practice to gain more expertise. The final one-third will have some moderate to extreme difficulty in experiencing any convincing levels of trance. Although most everyone has had the experience of being engrossed in a book or conversation and notice everything else fading into the background, out of focus, or significant time has passed unobserved and unaccounted for as the focus is more deeply applied and experienced. However, even most of the one-third who have difficulties experiencing hypnosis will, with practice, learn to trance and experience a greater communication and continuity with their unconscious minds in pleasant and surprising ways. Just keep practicing going deeper and deeper. And just as hypnosis can be experienced as both a narrowing of focus and a feeling of broadening attention, some people respond to the idea of sinking into a trance, while others to the experience of a raising of consciousness to new and higher levels. 
So what I am going to do is count from 10 to 1. And you can imagine or even find yourself guided by your unconscious mind to experiencing sinking deeper and deeper into a focused, relaxed state. Or even feel like your mind is being lifted higher and higher to new vistas of relaxed focus. Take your time. Ask and have the hopeful expectation of receiving help and guidance from your own unconscious mind. To learn together to alter your experienced state of consciousness through your own abilities and ability to remember that sense of wonder that comes from dreaming of, imagining about, and listening to the ongoing story of your moment-to-moment -moment experience. I will begin counting now. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Very good. Stay at that deepest and highest place until I ask you to wake up in a bit. Maybe you haven't experienced definitive trance states before and even be unsure and wondering if you are experiencing anything hypnotic right now. Good for you. Or maybe you are in a very different place than your normal waking consciousness and no doubt about it. Good for you as well, as everything in between. You may be still going deeper and higher in your self-induced relaxation, focusing further with every word I say and each breath taken. Learning to recognize the best crumbs left behind by your unconscious mind for your conscious attention to follow to the safest deep places may take some time to sink in or even leave behind. You can always check in, make note of where you are, and use that knowledge to go back to that same internal marker as a jumping off and starting point the next time you exercise your ability to trance. Now I am going to give you a few minutes of just music, then nature sounds, then silence, and will let you continue to drift and dream in that state you and your unconscious mind have worked together to create for you. I will give you about four minutes and it may seem significantly and easily longer or shorter than that. Enjoy.
congratulations. You've just completed the first in a series of hypnotic exploratory experiments and experiences. Let's wake you up by reversing the counting procedure we used a little while ago. I will count from 1 to 10, and with each number your mind will come back, rising or sinking in just the right way to bring into focus your conscious mind and normal perception and thinking. You can and should remember everything experienced during our time together, especially the parts that seem different than your normal waking experience for you to think about and ponder. I'll begin to count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wake up, breathe deep, yawn and stretch. Get up slowly, walk around a bit. Welcome back, and thank you for your earnest participation. In this first entry, I introduced myself, gave a bit of background of my experience, purpose, and expectation. I went over the format of these hypnotic experimental learnings, and then went into a trance induction talk, inviting your unconscious mind to help your conscious mind to experience something new we might as well call trance. A couple of techniques used were the phrases maybe you haven't, followed eventually by the word yet, and a person is able to. They both suggest to the unconscious mind the real possibility to wonder about what has happened before and what might happen or can become a reality due to the suggestibility and program ability of the unconscious mind when the unconscious mind itself lends a hand. Before I withdraw my input and let you start creating your next experience based on what we've just done together, I want to thank you for your time and attention. I thank your unconscious mind for allowing you to travel beyond what you may think possible. I want to thank my own unconscious mind for my quirky insights and way of looking at the world. I hope you had a good time. Let me know what you think of this first and introductory process. Ask questions about, well, anything you like, really. And I get the privilege of talking again to you later. Take care, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.